This week on Create Consume Repeat, I'll show you step-by-step -step how to control your A10 Mini Pro from the Elgato Stream Deck, effectively transforming your live stream setup into a professional broadcast quality control room. Before we begin, you'll need the following hardware and software. One, an A10 Mini Pro connected to your network via a router. Two, a PC or Mac with a secondary display connected to the same network as your A10 Mini Pro. Three, an Elgato Stream Deck connected to your PC or Mac. Four, the companion app, which you can download for free from the following URL. And five, a copy of OBS, which is also free. One thing to keep in mind before moving forward is that OBS is completely optional, but I feel it is necessary if you want to seamlessly incorporate advanced functions like animated lower thirds, stinger transitions, and playing video files at the touch of a button. Once you've installed Companion, we can launch the app and select Launch GUI, which will open a browser window. From here, we will search for our ATEM by typing ATEM in the text field and selecting add when it appears, which will then send us to the configuration tab where we can name our ATEM and more importantly, enter our ATEM's IP address in the target field. If you need help locating your ATEM's IP address, just launch the ATEM control panel and in the upper left-hand corner, select ATEM software control then connection, and voila, your ATEM's IP address. If for some reason you don't see it in the manual IP text field, click the ATEM setup button, then the configure button on the next window, and your IP address will be under network settings. Now that we've named and entered our ATEM's IP address, the only thing left to do is click apply changes. Once you've clicked apply changes, select the instances tab to check if everything is set up properly. The bright green OK in the status column means we're good to go and ready to add buttons. So let's head on over to the Buttons tab and click the Presets tab on the right-hand side and select ATEM Mini Pro. As you can see, Companion provides a list of presets. If you click on Preview, you will see buttons that correspond to the ATEM's Preview buttons. Click back and select Program and you have the ATEM's program buttons. Simply drag a button to a slot on the left, and as you can see, one of the buttons is lit up, and that's because it corresponds to the camera that is currently live. Another thing you will notice is that a number is assigned in the upper left corner of each button. This is important and will become apparent later in the episode. If we now click any of these buttons, we are taken to the Edit Button tab. Here, you can change text alignment, text color, button background color, or add a custom graphic. Now, in my opinion, it really makes no sense to drag over a Preview Cam 1 or Program Cam 2 over to the Button Layout tab because, let's be honest, the A10 Mini Pro already provides an incredibly streamlined and tactile work surface for these functional buttons. The best way, in my humble opinion, to use the Companion app is to create shortcuts to your macros. So, if you haven't created a macro yet, don't fret. We will be creating one later on in this episode. For those unfamiliar, the Elgato Stream Deck is a fully customizable OLED keypad that allows you to create and run macros on your computer from launching apps, controlling your Philips Hue light bulbs, or running your live stream. The Stream Deck is a powerful, and I really mean powerful, piece of hardware that not only warrants its own episode, it should be required hardware for every live streamer. With that said, let's launch the Stream Deck app and head over to the right-hand column and click More Actions. From the pop-up window, search for Companion button and install it on your Stream Deck. Once installed, switch profiles to Companion 01. Here you should see the buttons we created earlier and also notice that those buttons have now populated onto your actual Stream Deck. Feel free to tap the buttons we created earlier and verify that they work. Obviously, I could now end this episode right here, but I feel that would be doing you guys 
of the service, since I promised to show you how the Stream Deck working in conjunction with the A10 Mini Pro and OBS can transform your setup into a professional broadcast control room. So buckle up, we're about to unleash hell. Now that we have the Stream Deck controlling the A10 Mini Pro, let's really unlock their full potential by creating a macro that initiates a transition from one camera feed to another feed, pauses for two whole seconds, and then runs a lower third animation off of OBS, all with, you guessed it, a touch of a button. One, one button, just one. We need an animation. I'll be using the lower third animation I created in my last episode. If you haven't had a chance, pause this video and watch that episode by clicking right here or here. I don't know, it's somewhere. Once you're done, come right on back. I'll wait, I promise. Oh, welcome back. Told you I'd wait. Now that you've created a lower third animation and loaded it into OBS, we can head on over to the ATEM control panel and choose an input from the program section as your active camera. For me, it's input one. Two, open the macro window by selecting macros from the top menu. A macros window will now appear, allowing us to select an available slot. Three, clicking the round plus symbol will prompt us with another window that allows us to name the macro. Four, once named, you should see a red frame around the ATEM software control panel. Select an input you want to cut to from the preview section and drag the fade bar to initiate the transition. Five, head over to the palettes tab and select upstream key. The drawer should slide open and reveal the chroma key setting. It's here where you'll select your PC or Mac input. For me, that is input four, which I have named iMac. Next, we will tick Chroma Sample, which will open a small representation of our input feed. Click in that window and sample a color. In my case, that will be the custom green background I used in the how to add animation to your ATEM live stream episode I referenced earlier. With that out of the way, don't forget to tap the key one and on air button in the next transition section before hitting the record button to stop recording. You have officially created a macro. For some of you, this might be your first time. So good job, pat yourselves on the back. Now that we have a macro, we need to set it up in Companion so it displays on the Stream Deck. Head on over to your browser and select the Presets tab and select your ATEM from the Instance Presets, then Macro. Here you should see the macro we created. Be sure to select the Buttons tab from the left column before you drag our macro from the right column to the left column. Once that's done, please, please, please note the number automatically assigned in the upper left corner of the button. This is extremely, extremely important, and you'll see why in just a moment. We can head on over to the Stream Deck and create a macro by launching the Stream Deck app and dragging multi-action to an empty slot from the Stream Deck drawer on the right. You should immediately notice the UI change. It's here where we will begin to drop actions. Keep in mind that a multi-action will run in the order you define. So the first thing we need to run is the ATEM macro we created. Open the custom drawer and drag companion button to the left. Feel free to give it a title, and from the button dropdown, select the button number companion assigned your macro. For me, that is button X.16. I told you it's important. Next, we need to add a pause. To do this, we will drag delay from the Stream Deck drawer on the left to the right. Feel free to give it a name, and in the delay text field, type 2000. This will give us a two second delay. And in case math isn't your strong suit, every thousand milliseconds equals one second. So you can make your pause as long as you want. Last but not least, we need to trigger our OBS animation. So ensure OBS is running. And from the OBS Studio drawer, drag over scene. Once again, give it a title. And from the collection, ensure it is the same collection you saved your animation. And from the scene drop down menu, select animation example or whatever you named your animation. And just like that, you have now successfully created a Stream Deck macro that triggers an A10 Mini Pro macro and an OBS animation, all with the touch of 
one button. We've come to the end of yet another episode. And I can confidently say that if you've watched and followed along the last three episodes, you can now effectively create a complex macro, run any type of animation, and trigger it all from the stream deck with, you get it, the touch of a button. <laughs> the only thing left is for you to create a set of macros that make your workflow a breeze and most importantly, unleash your creativity. But wait, 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 before you run off, don't forget to smash that like, subscribe, and bell button. It helps me keep the channel going and lets me know you're finding this content actually interesting and useful. See you guys next time.